do that run once so as you can see right here it's spinning that means it successfully created our pin right here you can check the result and uh, the actual result can be seen in our Pinterest board. So we go to our Pinterest board. So as you can see, this Ama the Amalfi Coast is still empty. And we when we click refreshed, and there you go. That's our Pinterest pin directly from the uh, WordPress post using make.com. Okay. So that simplifies our automation. So if we click that, so this is the uh, actual size of the pin. Uh, Hello guys, so I'm going to show you the easiest way on how you can automate your Pinterest pins, creating Pinterest pins directly from your uh, blog post using this make.com. So here in make.com, as you can see, you can start using make.com for free. It, it will provide you 1000 operations per month. So that means it will be good enough to automate two to three sites. Suppose you have 300 to 350 blog posts per site. So it's good enough to automate those three sites per month. Okay, this 100 operations, which is pretty good. So once you sign up for an account, right? You will be landed on your dashboard right here so what you need to do is uh click this create a new scenario like this and you will be prompted to this uh you know working environment which will uh allow us to create our own workflow but before that what we need to do is since we have this empty blog at the moment we will need articles in order for us to automate the uh you know creating pins so the image of the pins itself will be coming from the featured images which will really save our time you know pinterest nowadays can easily get organic traffic from social media because a lot of people are you know being attracted to beautiful pins and if you get uh you know the correct keywords you will have a chance to rank your uh pin itself on google so this is what we're going to do so here using keyword tool.io we are using the seed keyword which is amalfi coast uh place in italy now, uh, what we need to do is gather some interesting keywords right here. So, for example, what are the best towns in Amalfi Coast? What islands are on Amalfi Coast? Can you swim? So, those uh, keywords right here. Uh, is Amalfi Coast safe? Uh, is Amalfi Coast word? So, let's just gather some few. Is Amalfi Coast in Kampai? So, what is Amalfi Coast known for? So, these uh, few keywords right here, six keywords we selected. Now, we copy them. So you can generate them using ChatGPT or Claude. You can write a custom prompt like write me a 900 word article related to this keyword right there. But um, in my case, I'm just going to save my time. So I will be using Article AI Generator, which you don't require. You, you're not required to use this. You can uh, use whatever you want to generate these articles directly to your blog post. So for me, just to save my time, I'm going to generate these six articles right here. And let's keep them as is for now. And this is very important. We will generate featured image because this will become the Pinterest pins. And here the image size will be the 9 by 16 aspect ratio. So it will optimize on the Pinterest view. Now, right here, we will auto post it to our WordPress and set that to publish. So later, I will show you how you can simply automate those six pins. Uh, so you need to watch this carefully, guys, so that you, you won't miss some that's uh, important steps. Now, we then post that to our Word, WordPress site here. Let's generate. So these six articles will be generated with featured images. As you can see right here, guys, the six articles are completed. And if we take a look at one article right here, so it generated a beautiful uh, AI image, uh, you know, uh, showing us the Amalfi Coast right here, what islands are on Amalfi Coast. So when we check the post section of our WordPress right here, so as you can see, the six articles are now published. So if we view again one of the article, so here, as you can see, the image that we generated from Article AI Generator has aspect ratio of 9 over 16. But here on WordPress, it a square size image which fits our article so that's fine because later on it will adjust based on the pinterest post pinterest pins that we will create because the original image is 9 by 16. so now let's proceed uh, creating our automation so coming back here in uh, make.com in our you know blank workflow uh so first this is a very important step what you need to do is in the plugins we need to uh temporarily disable this wordpress api authentication so we disable that because it conflicts with, uh, you know, make.com plugin. Uh, so we will, uh, once we complete and generating the articles that we require, we will disable this temporarily. And now we will click this add new plugin. And we will search the make.com uh, plugin. So it will, it won't up appear in, if, in the first few results. So you have to scroll down and you will see this make connector. So you install that. So once it's activated, you will see a new menu here called Make. So we will click that and we will have this API key, which we will need to create a connection. So you need to watch these guys very carefully because these are important steps that you want uh, 
uh, you don't want to miss okay so first uh the first step that we will require here is search for wordpress right here so you will get a bunch of options here and we will select this first one watch post and it will create a connection to our wordpress using the api key that uh, we have installed using the make that companion now here uh we will select post and we will select publish because what we want to watch are those posts that are in this one the published uh status okay so we do that here in the limit we will keep it as one what it means is you know in make that com this automatically runs every 15 minutes so that's the uh the, uh minimum in maximum interval or minimum interval you can set you cannot go less than 15 minutes so every 15 minutes this automation will run and what it means if we put one here is it will create one beep for every uh you know for every blog post that we have here so that's the automation that we are trying to build and that pin will be posted here in our new pinterest board called the amalfi coast okay so let's do that now so here you can set that to two if you want two pins every 15 minutes so for now this example we will just set it to one and click ok now here you will just need to click another uh, module here and you will select this http you need to watch carefully guys this step these steps that i'm showing you are all important and here in http make sure to select this make a request okay because you have lots of options here so select this make a request now in the data that right here what we need to do is the url of the uh, featured image so that's what we need now in order for us to get that we will need to run once this module right here just right click do not click this run once because we only need this this uh, wordpress module so run this module only so that we will get the data as you can see right here it runs successfully and we have that right there and you will see it captured the data and now we are ready to uh, set up this http so we get this from uh you know if you can't find this if it's too uh, confusing for you you can type here featured and here you will see this links featured media and make sure you select this href okay right there select that href make sure it uh, populated here now that's it uh make sure the method is get click okay now we will need another another module called json parser because the data that we will be fetching from here is in json format and we need to parse that in order to get the uh actual data so we click this we set uh, type this json and select this parse json right there now here if you see right there we will select data okay that data right there okay click ok now you can uh, again click this run once So as you can see right here, these uh, three connections have run successfully. So you will see here, uh, it's got what the result that we are wanting. So the data right here, uh, it parsed successfully. The data that coming from uh, WordPress then passed to HTTP requests, okay, which is right there and the data right there. And now what we need is the fourth one will be Pinterest. So this is the time we will need to create pin. So select this create pin right there. Now we will make a connection to our Pinterest account and uh, earlier I already made a connection so you just need to simply give permission so that's very easy it will show you a pop-up window right here and just click give permission. Now here uh, I will be choosing the um, uh, I will be naming my connection with Amalfi cost uh, pins and here we will be able to select the board the Amalfi cost board that we that I showed you earlier. Now this is very important. The media source will be the featured image. Okay, so we will select image URL, and here in the URL, this is the important thing, important uh, reason why we are parsing the JSON. Okay, so that we will be able to get the actual data which we require from here because we cannot just directly get the data uh, from here directly because it's you know endpoints it's not the actual url of the image so we will not we will need to parse that endpoint in order for us to get to gather this actual data so what we will exactly need here is this one link okay because we gather the wp featured uh media the endpoint of that featured media and then parse the json result using this parse json module and here this is the actual link anyway if this is incorrect it will show us the error then we can update that accordingly but i'm pretty sure this is this one the uh data right here otherwise i think we can choose this one rendered uh i think this is the correct one the rendered this is the url of our image because we need the image url we need this rendered one okay so we remove this we clear that and we will need this rendered 
right here. Now we will be posting that to our Amalfi board and the title of our pin will be the actual title of our uh, WordPress post, which uh, you will get from uh, this actual WordPress result, not from the JSON parser because we only need the image URL from there. Here we will need a WordPress uh, data and we will select the title okay, of our pin right there. In the description, you can choose the excerpt. That's the shortened version, shortened version of the uh, complete blog post. So you can select that. And here, the link, you can select the actual link going to your blog post because that's very important. That's why we need the Pinterest ping in order for visitors to send to our actual blog post. That's the traffic we are, how we will be needing. So this one is the link right there. So I think that our mapping is correct now. Now uh, we we have all the data we need and we, it will show us an error uh, if it's not configured properly. So we click OK now. And when we click this run once, it should run this for end to end and it should create our ping. Okay, now let's do that run once. So as you can see right here, it's spinning. That means it successfully created our pin. Right here, you can check the result and uh, the actual result can be seen in our Pinterest board. So we go to our Pinterest board. So as you can see, this Am the Amalfi course is still empty. And we when we click refreshed, and there you go. That's our Pinterest pin directly from the uh, WordPress post using make.com. Okay, so that simplifies our automation. So if we click that, so this is the uh, actual size of the pin, uh, 9 over 16. So if we open the image, open a new tab. So right there, I think it's the, sh uh, you know, the uh, scaled version. So what we, ne we need to do is we need to uh, change. We need to change this image URL. I think the image URL is this one right here. Um, we can just like click this link right there. Maybe that's the actual size of the image. Okay. So we click OK. Okay. We click run once again. And as you can see, it's spinning. So uh, it shows the error. So that means that's not the correct image URL. So here we scroll down, we can see this source URL. I think this is the actual URL of the image size that we want. So we click that and click OK. Now again, we click this run once. So as you can see, it's spinning and it's successful. So that means that's the correct URL we are trying to search. Now, now when we go back to our board right here and you click refresh, so now we have two pins. So uh, that means we already automated two of our blog posts here and we come back here and you can see right here, this is the image. This is the title. I think we need to uh, remove the we need to uh, uh, change the mapping of the description because it's uh, adding the tag, but that's an easy fix. We can do that. And we have the URL right here. When you click that, it goes to our actual blog post right there. And since this post, uh, you know, these pins are quite attractive. So we are pretty sure that we may get organic traffic, you know, uh, by attracting people to this, uh, you know, pin right here. Okay. So yeah, if you have any questions on how to automate uh, this one, if you're having some issue, you can post in the comment and then I'll try to answer it as much as possible. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So that's one thing you can do in order for you to automate your um, Pinterest pin. Okay, so before we end, once you're satisfied with the workflow that you created, you can uh, turn this on. You can turn this on. So that means uh, this uh, workflow will run every 15 minutes. Okay. So yeah, uh, once you're satisfied. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys learned something from this video. And if you do, please leave a like. Thanks.